So we're gonna get into an old-fashioned slugfest with Mexico. I don't want to use any nuclear missiles here. I want it to just be uh, his units versus our units. So I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm moving all my units over towards the uh, Juarez border, and we're going to try to just walk in and, and take his... Obviously, I want to take over all of Mexico. I want to completely eliminate them from this game. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I, I think that it's... I mean, obviously, it's going to take me a lot longer than, than it would have uh, if I were to use weapons of mass destruction, but I don't want to waste those on Mexico. I feel like we have... Uh, some better options out there. I'd much rather build like a stockpile of missiles and use them on maybe a, str a little bit of a stronger foe like Brazil. Um, I have no idea what's going on in Argentina, but they are being blockaded. Uh, so something is going on, more than likely from kind of the uh, freedom nations that are still left in the world. And I have to make sure that I'm always concerned about India. India is the big powerhouse now, and we've left them alone for a long time. They're kind of the sleeping giant. We didn't touch them. We attacked China. We didn't. We didn't attack them. We attacked the USA. Uh, we, you know, we've been giving them trade. We've been trading with them, and we've been focused in on having the Indian Empire kind of, I, I don't know, supply us with our economy. And it's been it's been good so far. We've got a bunch of money, but uh, but yeah, I don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to hold off on that. And you know, who knows what's gonna go on with Indonesia? I'm hopefully hoping that Indonesia wouldn't be too hard because all these cities are coastal, and uh, with a good navy at that point, we should be able to take them over pretty easily. Australia might be difficult, although their cities are also coastal, uh, as well as they're not kind of like jammed together like Mexico. Mexico is going to be a tough, a tough nation to take over because they're very close, and that means that these city bombardments are going to be able to uh, do do more damage to to more of my units as we continue to approach. So, anyways, uh, this turn is over. I have been annexing a few cities, a few of the big cities in North America, as well as I have annexed the city of Madrid, and I've bought an airport inside of it. So we're going to see if we can uh, maybe transfer some of these units from Iberia over towards the front lines a little bit faster, uh, but we'll see. I'm going to try to use the airports a bit more, but sometimes, I, I, as you guys know, I make that mistake quite often where I forget to use the airports. Um... And I need to also be careful that I don't accidentally win here. I've got 50 votes. I only need 54 votes to win. Uh, so obviously, I could probably win the game with by sending by spending just enough. I could probably take Bolivia, and uh, how much does India? Yeah, I could probably take. I mean, I could pretty much take all this with the money that I have. I could probably win it right now. But that's not really the goal of the game. Uh, the goal is to win the game through domination, through complete domination. And uh, I think we certainly should be able to do that. But it is going to be harder. Uh, especially with India growing in power. Especially with India growing in power. Okay, so we've got our fleet ready in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Let's actually, we should we should get ready and prepare ourselves uh, for the Tijuana border. So let's send over a modern, a modern armor. With their 100th strength, they should be pretty good there. Uh, I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to kind of lean on our air force with this war. Our air force is going to have to do a lot of damage, as well as our navy. Uh, the land units kind of just need to be almost meat shields, almost distractions uh, to the Mexican military as they continue to approach us. Let's get this Mobile Sam uh, in Florida, because that's what I'm mainly concerned with is... Uh, I think that, I mean, we've seen the real MVP of my entire military has been our Air Force the entire time. Um, okay, I don't care, America. Uh, it really has been. So, and we're being denounced by the United Kingdom. That's a big one. We'll see if we get denounced by anybody else. And Japan, you better get out of here, son. You better get out of here. We don't need you here. I don't want to have to, I don't know. Don't want to be bothered by you. And you know what? We should probably focus on a Tijuana first. Ooh, Tony Abbott. We should. We should probably focus on Tijuana. And uh, rather than take it, we'll, we'll, when we have nothing else to do with the Pacific Fleet, then we'll go after the city. But this city is not a concern, uh, not only because it can't really uh, bombard any of my units, because uh, I won't be going anywhere near Baja California. Uh, there's also these, mount these mountain ranges here that are, you know, obviously stopping uh, me from moving on those tiles. So this city won't do any damage. So let me move my navy up a little bit more north. Uh, obviously, I want to take Juarez and Tijuana as fast as possible uh, to make sure that we get off onto a good start. And I think we might be able to. Now, I don't believe... Okay, so uh, they do have atomic bombs. Mexico has atomic bombs. We've got to take that over that city over fast. And... Uh, and we've we've got to make sure that they don't they don't drop anything on us, because I I have no interest in dropping anything on them. The problem is that we're going to need to use most of my naval and uh, my plane attacks on the units. You can't just jump straight into a city. Although we might want to consider that strategy, as uh, there are two atomic bombs here, and because our units are going to be so focused on one area, they could do a lot a lot of damage. Luckily, they are just atomic bombs. 
Uh, obviously, that's a big positive. If they are nuclear missiles, they would be able to, you know, take us out in, in one strike. Um, I'm gonna bring this submarine over because I know, yeah, there is some, there is a Mexican submarine there. Let's let's bring over our submarines. See if we can get some more vision uh, within this region here. Maybe go there. Nice, another missile cruiser. We're building. Uh, our navies are getting very, very big, very, very powerful, which is awesome. Okay, mobile Sam. Uh, we can airlift you, but I don't really need you. I need Houston's a lot of the Houston airspace to be kind of cleared out. Mobile Sams are not something I really want on the front lines. Okay, and I'm also gonna stack Houston's uh, Houston with a lot of our good planes too. I've built so many of these missile cruisers. It's crazy. Uh, that's good though. That's what we needed. So yeah, we're gonna stack all these guys here: jet bombers, stealth bombers, uh, all of our most powerful. Air, air units, which might not be a good idea because if they nuke Houston, then they would destroy that air force, right? I'm pretty sure that's that's a same, that's like the same deal in this mod. Pretty sure that's a thing, but we'll see. Okay, so good. I can just kind of drop you off. I should have put you probably where that T90 is, but that's fine. Uh, I shouldn't have put you next to the next to Houston. That was a dumb idea, Drew. That was a very dumb idea. Okay, we're gonna airlift you, and we'll put you there. Uh, I know I have more rocket artillery coming, and we're going to need those rocket artillery if we want to do a lot of damage. Jeez, how many missile cruisers have I completed? This is crazy. I had no idea. Okay, you're going to stay there. Yeah, I guess, I guess I could use one bomb if I absolutely have to. I mean, I have three uh, somewhat close to the borders. I mean, I, I just don't want to lose a bunch of units. And I don't want to, I don't want my Air Force, that's the only thing. And I know that I'm, this is probably going to be the bloodiest war we've been in in a long time. Maybe since, maybe since China, even though the Chinese war wasn't that bloody either. Uh, it's, it's definitely going to be uh, something that we're not used to, I guess you could say. We're going to see units for sure, they're going to fall, and that's fine. Because we're building them really fast as well. I guess we'll build a battleship here because we don't have that many. We could use a few more missile cruiser there. Okay, you guys are building things really fast. I'm thinking about making you build some... Here, you can build an airport. There we go. Build yourself an airport rather than... Because, I, I mean, I was purchasing it in some of the buildings that I wanted them in. Uh, but I'd rather not do that, obviously. Dang, you guys can build really fast. That's crazy. Uh, you know, yeah, if you have... That's what we need to do is, is nuclear missiles. If they're, t if they're building things really fast and we don't want to have to continue to talk to them every single second, we'll just have them all build nuclear missiles. That's That should be the go-to anyways. Because uh, okay, right now we are we are definitely lacking it. Let me check in Europe. How many do we have? Okay, we have three technically. Okay, we actually have a lot. Uh, obviously, I want to be conservative with those missiles. But like I said, oh well, we're building them a lot in our main uh, in our three four cities four four major cities. So I guess I could use one if I just wanted to make sure that they don't nuke us themselves. Uh, and I do need to take note of this. I need to be very careful here. Um, but like I said, we're going to take a risk either way. We're going to take the risk either way. I'm not going to bring the mobile Sam up too close because he's, there's no point in him getting too close. Come on, take away some of my alliances. I don't want to win. I mean, even if we win, we're going to still continue on the campaign, but it's going to make me feel better uh, if I don't win through a diplomatic victory and if I, if I win through the domination, obviously. Okay, so everyone's denouncing me. Uh, that should be uh, kind of a call of concern. It is definitely possible for a coalition to form and a coalition to maybe start something up with me, start some stuff up. That's that's happened before, but I think we might be at that point where we're so powerful that maybe the world's not going to want to. Let's hope that's the case. Uh, and actually, they they back. Where did those missiles go? They went to Tijuana. And Chile has been captured by Argentina. Uh oh. Argentina is getting Santiago. Hmm, I don't really like that you moved it in Tijuana. I'd love it if they moved it inside of Mexico City uh, because we could just, boom, you know, take out all these units right away. Oh, man, oh, man. This is going to be bloody, and it's going to be a tough war to win. I don't know if I want to do this without nukes entirely. I Maybe I'll go into it thinking I won't use nukes, and if and if things start to go bad, then I'll use them. It just, I mean, I, I had no idea that I had like eight missiles, you know, if I, if I, I thought for some reason I had like only three or four. So yeah, I mean, obviously at that point, I'm going to want to play conservative uh, with the missiles, but no, we, uh, we've got, we've got a lot. So, I mean, we might as well use them somewhat here, right? I don't know. We'll see. 
And the rocket artillery are going to stay there. Again, a lot of the units I'm building in East Asia are staying there only for the fact that I'm, I'm uh, well, one, they're prepared for the eventual war with India, as well as it's, it's a good defensive unit to kind of station there. It's a very good defensive unit. Okay, I'm going to move you to Vancouver. We're going to move a little bit more units to Vancouver, as well as uh, I am considering maybe moving you back from Houston. It is a possibility that you could get nuked from, yeah, Houston. Let's maybe move back to Denver because they're going to want to nuke the uh, the city that probably has the most units, I'm guessing. They're probably going to want to. Okay, so we're ready to go here. Rocket artillery, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And get that destroyer on the front lines as well. Uh, good, we do, we do need a missile cruiser. Going to take you six turns to get there, but that's fine. Uh, let's take these last two units over. They're stealth bombers, so they're pretty powerful. We're going to want to take care of those. And let's make sure that the unit inside of Chicago is healed up. Are you good? No, you're not good. You still have a while. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, you stay in New York. You guys stay back. So the Air Force is almost ready to go. We almost have everything set up, like organized the correct way, uh, but not yet. Not yet. I really want to make sure that these rocket artillery are in the perfect spot to be able to do the most uh, amount of damage. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go, let's let's build a, we don't really need a public school. A factory might be a good idea in Shanghai. So I'm thinking maybe the turn after next one, maybe the turn after next is we'll, we'll, we'll start this up. A lot of my Air Force is already good to go. A lot of the units have made it in play here. Hmm, I've got a lot of units coming down to uh, Tijuana, which is good because Kind of forgot about that city, to be honest. Um, I need to bring more of my naval units up towards Tijuana. Especially the missile cruisers, which mostly they're mostly down south at the moment, and that's not good. Uh, that is not good. Now, we can get about one, two, three. We, could, we can get easily maybe six, maybe almost every missile cruiser we have in the Pacific to attack Tijuana. Uh, now, this city has 167 defense. This is going to be hard to take down. Uh, not as hard as Juarez. Uh, with 183 defense. Did that change? That must have... Did that... I thought that went... That was a 200 before, I thought. Am I smoking crack? Like, this might be one of the worst cases of crack I've ever dealt with. I could have swore I looked at that and that said 200. But, okay, whatever. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not going to ask any questions. Thank you, game. If you want to lower the combat strength, or if my eyes just want to screw me here and make me look like an idiot, either way, it's not been the first time, either way. <laughs> with any one of those scenarios happening. Okay, yeah, so I might start it just right here. I mean, it seems like I don't think it's going to get any better. Oh, man, we, we have to deal with this uh, Mexican Navy as well. Ugh. Well, the good thing is Panama City is going to be on our side. So for the most part, a lot of these units down south should be distracted. Now, I want to make sure that Panama does not fall. Uh, this great merchant is a... Uh, it's got Panama's name on it. Pretty much, I want that. I want that city state. That's going to be an excellent city state to acquire. Okay, yeah, I think I will wait one more turn because I just just to give my merchant a little bit more room. I also need to protect that merchant uh, because I didn't realize that Mexico was going to have as big of a fleet, especially in the Pacific. I figured they'd have it in the Gulf of Mexico, but uh, they they don't actually. They do not. Okay, you guys are going to stay there. You heal. Modern armor. Uh, I guess we'll take you up this way. Yeah, we we do have to wait about one more turn because, uh, I mean, everything is good. We could start it now, but uh, let's just make wait one more turn. And it, mainly for the sake of my great, uh, my great uh, Merchant of Venice. There you go. My Merchant of Venice. So that's kind of the big reason why. I guess I could go perform a concert in India, right? Okay, well, you know, you figure out a way to get there as easily as possible. Oh, wait a second, no. Uh, I hate these great musicians. I forgot they don't do anything. I can't do any great tile improvements. Just sleep then. Just sleep. All right, so we do have a lot of missiles. Oh, jeez. Oh, we've got a lot of missiles. A lot of missiles. I think that's almost 10 now. Especially if some... Oh, my gosh. We have... Oh, wait, no. That was the one that we just saw. Jeez. Okay. Another missile cruiser. Uh, you're really tempting me here, game. You're really, really tempting me here. Okay, and we have, I believe, the World Congress. Oh, and five more turns. The World Votes. I've got 50 uh, delegates so far. So, so far, everything's fine. And we're moving into Vancouver since Seattle's almost already uh, filled up to the to the brim 
with air units. And here we go. This is it. Last turn. Well, not even last turn. It's going to happen next turn. And okay, so I've got this submarine down here. Um, how do I want to divide this up? I want to be very, very careful now in the process. But let's go ahead and send this battleship and this missile cruiser uh, in this area. Should I send one more or should the rest go around Tijuana? I'm thinking the rest should probably go around Tijuana. Uh, dang, you've already moved too. I'm actually considering maybe one more unit down here just to be safe. Okay, let's go ahead and do something like that. Okay, so that should be pretty effective, somewhat effective. We'll see. I'm always, you know, I'm always forgetting about the Air Force. I mean, I've got a huge Air Force that, so I think I should probably focus the Air Force on either attacking, well, they should, maybe they should attack units. Maybe focus the Air Force on attacking units. Also, I also am glad that I waited one more turn because I've got five rocket artillery that could probably do a, a direct hit on Tijuana. And obviously those rocket artillery I should save for the attack uh, on the city. I'm sorry, on Juarez, I, I should say. Uh, on the city, not for units just because they get bonuses for attacking the city. Not so much for units. So uh, we'll try that. I should have a cultural, a new uh, policy coming soon. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. In six turns, it's going to take a while, but it, it's going to be here eventually. And uh, that is it. That is it. Argentina's replaced a replaced Brazil as the ally of the Congo. Got 191 happiness. Okay, let's see how this goes. I mean, I I kind of just want to I, I just kind of want to nuke Mexico City to be honest. Just to be just like boom, take them all out. That would be pretty helpful. Because I don't want to lose any units. Because you're talking about a lot of units being destroyed right there. Boom, people with the pointiest sticks. Wow, look at that. Look at India. They are they are very, very close behind us. Very close behind us. Okay, so here's the Merchant of Venice. Let's hope that guy stays safe. And uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, yeah, I'm going to drop at least one nuke. Just one. Just one. Just to make this a little bit faster and to make it a little bit easier. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's not drop it there. We actually might not have range. I, I wasn't even considering that. Oh, no, we do. Okay, there we go. So we'll drop it right there. Hopefully no one gets caught in the crossfires, even though at this point it doesn't super matter if there, if there is anybody. Okay, so that's going to help out a ton. Uh, that definitely helps out a ton. Okay, so who does good damage? I can't remember who does da uh, good damage against submarines. The missile cruisers do. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Um, I can pr almost sink this battleship, but the nuclear submarine might destroy me in the process. Don't care about the carrier. I'll leave the carrier alone. Dang it. Okay, so we're going to have to wombo combo this guy. And then this battleship. I'm glad that I took over the amount of units that I did. Let's hide this battleship behind and maybe just attack. Oh, dang, you have extra range. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we'll take out a little bit of damage from this submarine. Take a little damage out of the submarine. Okay. And uh, where is this cargo ship going for? Okay, London. Sounds good. Kind of the only place we can go. Mechanized infantry. We're probably given by a city-state. And perfect timing. We can send you over towards California. Yeah, we'll send you right there. And uh, what what did you just finish up? Uh, oh, oh, we have to wait because this animation is, is going on. It's going to take forever. All right, guys. I'm going to have to stop right there, though. We just kicked off our war with Mexico. So this should be interesting. I ended up lose, using at least... I did I did end up using one of my... Uh, one of my nukes. And I think that was... Probably for the best. Uh, it looks a lot, a little bit easier, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.